Hey, what's going on everybody? How's it going? This is Watch from the MW Technology Channel on YouTube. And in this video, we'll be doing a direct head-to-head -head comparison between the all-new 2015 MacBook Pro and the new 2015 version of the Google Chromebook Pixel. And even though both computers come with really high-end uh, displays and internal specifications, there's quite a big difference in terms of the type of laptops they are. So if you're interested in seeing how this very minimalistic and very powerful Google Pixel compares against probably one of the best laptops you can get in the market, the MacBook Pro. Let's get right into this comparison. Now, essentially, the Google Chromebook Pixel is a glorified tablet that comes with a really fantastic keyboard and trackpad. It still comes pre-installed with the Google Chrome OS, and all your software and apps are going to be essentially installed through the Google Chrome Store. Now, the MacBook Pro is a certainly different kind of beast. It comes pre-installed with the latest generation of OS X Yosemite, which is a fantastic mobile operating system that certainly has a lot more functionality and capabilities than what you would find on a Chrome OS. Now, from a pure design design standpoint, the Google Chromebook Pixel is a really a wonderful a piece of hardware. It's made exquisitely well. In fact, both the MacBook Pro and the Pixel are kind of in the same camp in terms of build quality and design. They're both using aluminum unibody construction that definitely has a very premium Ultrabook feel that display a level of quality and fit and finish that isn't really available in many other laptops available. Now, size-wise, the Google Chromebook Pixel is not as wide as the MacBook Pro but it is a slightly taller and uh, taking a look at the overall thickness the MacBook Pro measures about 18 millimeters in terms of its overall thickness versus the pixel is thinner at 15.3 millimeters and uh, the same thing goes for weight where the Chromebook is a slightly lighter at around 3.3 pounds versus the Pro is just under three and a half pounds now moving forward we have actually quite a bit of options when it comes to the ports and connectivity on the, the new Chromebook pixel we have a couple of new connections that you probably haven't encountered before in other laptops. Mainly speaking, we have two USB Type-C connections on both sides of the computer. And the real cool thing about Type-C is that it enables multiple different functions. So it can serve as a uh, charging cable up to 60 watts fast charging capabilities. It can also serve as a display port or HDMI, a video connection for 4K external monitors. You also have a full USB 5 gigabits per second a data transferring speed. So you can also adapt a type C to regular type A connections. Uh, you're going to have to obviously buy an adapter for that. But it's really exciting to see uh, USB Type-C being embraced by Google, and I'm sure we're going to encounter it in many other devices in the future. We also have two USB 3.0 connections. That's a standard Type-A connector, an SD card slot reader, as well as a headphone slash microphone jack. On the MacBook Pro, we basically have the MagSafe 2 uh, magnetic power connection, uh, two Thunderbolt 2 connections for up to 20 gigabits per second data transferring speed speeds, two uh, USB 3 connections, an HDMI 1.4 connection, a headphone a jack, as well as a full-size SD card slot reader. Furthermore, uh, both have a HD 720p front-facing webcams, which is fantastic if you do any kind of video conferencing. Now, if we take a look at the keyboard configuration on the MacBook Pro versus uh, what we find on the Pixel, it's a fairly similar overall keyboard design. There's not really a massive difference if you're coming from one keyboard to the next. They really feel quite similar. They have the the same amount of key travel which is fantastic and they're both backlit. Now both laptops have a really nice trackpads. They're both glass so very easy and intuitive to use. They both have multi-touch capabilities. The only real exception is that the new MacBook Pro has the force touch trackpad so that means there's no longer a hinge system so the whole entire trackpad is one large button giving you a very consistent feel and then you have the force touch capabilities which allows you to enable a third click function and that's going to allow you to do different things based on on a certain apps in OS 10. Now the real standout features of both of these two laptops is certainly the displays. They are both super high resolution and IPS. So in terms of actual dimension, we are looking at 13.3 inch display on the MacBook Pro. It has a native resolution of 2560 by 1600. This is the Retina model, of course. It is an IPS display, so great overall color accuracy and consistency throughout uh, different viewing angles up to 178 degrees. And it's rated for about 360 
seven nits, about 300 nits from the factory. But according to my calibration tool, I got about 307 nits, so very uh, decently bright display. Now, the Chromebook Pixel is probably one of the best displays that I've come across this year. There's been some other good ones, but this is definitely uh, up there in terms of a laptop display. It measures about 12.85 inches. It has an aspect ratio of a three to two. So uh, HD content is going to have some bars on the top to bottom, as you can see over here. But in terms of resolution, it's 2560 by 1700, giving it a PPI count about 239 versus the MacBook has a PPI count about 227. So a little bit more pixel density on the pixel, uh, thus the name uh, implies. So in terms of brightness, I measured about uh, 391 nits. It's rated from the factory about 400. So it is a brighter display than the MacBook Pro. And in terms of overall viewing experience, both are quite fantastic. I'm super impressed of uh, what the Pixel can do in terms of its overall display experience. It's really kind of one of the best, if not the best, display you're going to find on any laptop. And uh, it's also a capacitive touchscreen. So if you want to basically scroll with your finger or uh, do any kind of pinch to zoom stuff with photos, you have that capability as well. Now moving on, let's talk about the internal specs of these two bad boys. You're looking at a very powerful computer when it comes to the Chromebook internally. Even though it's using a very light operating system, one of the highlights is its user overall experience and performance is extremely fast, extremely quick, and that's definitely regarding its uh, very fast internal capabilities. It's basically using a very similar processor compared to the MacBook Pro, a fifth generation Intel Core i5 dual core processor with hyperthread enabled, both at three megabytes of L3 cache. And in terms of clock speed, you're looking at 2.2 gigahertz on the Pixel and can uh, turbo up to 2.7 gigahertz versus the MacBook Pro's uh, Core i5 is clocked in a little bit higher at uh, 2.7 and it can turbo up to 3.1 gigahertz. And in terms of the integrated graphics, we're using Intel 5500 series graphics on the Pixel versus uh, the new MacBook Pro uses 6100 HD Iris graphics from Intel. So a little bit better graphics on uh, the MacBook Pro as well. Interestingly, in terms of the RAM configuration, we have eight gigabytes on uh, both uh, base model computers, but we have a higher clock speed of 1866 megahertz on the Pro versus uh, the Pixel is clocked in about 1600 megahertz megahertz on its RAM. Now just to illustrate a real world example of what the Pixel is capable of because it's running such a light operating system with a pretty powerful hardware, we can illustrate the difference by uh, seeing what the uh, boot time differences are between uh, these two. So from a completely cold start, we're going to turn on uh, both these computers and uh, basically within just a couple of seconds, five seconds to be exact, the OS has completely loaded and we're in to the sign on page on the Pixel versus it takes about 14 14 or so seconds to get into the sign on page on OS 10 on the MacBook Pro. So huge difference between the load speed times when you're starting up these computers. And that's certainly the advantage of what the Pixel is capable of. Now the MacBook Pro still has a couple of tricks up its sleeve in terms of the uh, memory performance is using very fast 4x uh, PCIe based memory. It has 128 gigabytes from the stock baseline model and it's a very fast solid state chip. The Chromebook Pixel from a stock configuration comes with 32 gigabytes of uh, internal solid state memory. That's not a lot. Google does give you about a terabyte or so uh, when you do get the Pixel for cloud based storage, but that's really with anything. So not a lot of physical storage because this is really a cloud based device and that really makes sense. But uh, let's take a look at the speed differences between these two. What we're going to do is take a uh, file that's about uh, one gigabyte. It's a video file from a USB drive and just just copy it over to the drive on both computers and it just takes about 4.5 seconds to fully complete that transfer versus on the Pixel it takes about 10 or so seconds uh, to complete that transfer. So you can see that the MacBook is uh, still a very capable machine when it comes to transferring large amounts of data back and forth. Now next we're going to test out the web browsing capabilities of uh, both these two computers and the first thing that we're going to do is use a benchmark called Octane version 2.0 which is basically going to test our JavaScript capabilities on both these two machines and as you can see from the results we got a slightly higher score on the pixel getting a score of over 24,000 versus the MacBook Pro on the Chrome browser got just around 23,000 and with the Safari browser we just scored just under 22,000 so a little bit faster speed in terms of the JavaScript capabilities on the pixel based on this performance result. 
Now next we're going to do some more real world web browsing speed tests. We're just going to load up a couple of different websites that most people visit on a day to day basis and just see which one loads up quicker. So as you can see, in most cases, the Google Chromebook Pixel is loading up websites generally on a faster overall average speeds. It also is very quick in terms of the scrolling capabilities. And really, even though Pixel is fairly limited in terms of the other things it can do, it can do one thing really well, and that's surf the web. So if you need the ultimate surf machine, uh, perhaps the Pixel could be your best option. Now, the very last thing that we're going to talk about is the battery performance on uh, both of these two computers. Now, impressively, uh, the Pixel has quite a bit of features when it comes to battery performance and features. Firstly, when the lid is closed, you can actually tap on the front LED lights and it'll actually give you an indication of how much juice is left on the battery. Very cool and handy integration there. Additionally, it has fast charging capabilities. So based on my experience, it only took about 80 minutes to go from uh, completely dead to 100% charge, which is super, super impressive. And in terms of the actual battery capacity, you're looking at a 59 watt hour battery versus the MacBook Pro has a 74 0.9 watt hour battery and uh, basically in terms of the uh, battery performance I got over 12 hours of a web browsing on uh, the pixel versus the new MacBook Pro has been upgraded from 9 to 10 hours and I got just over 10 hours based on my personal test so both are very good and uh, very capable portable laptops and uh, certainly the MacBook Pro has a lot more capabilities in the pixel but again even though the Chromebook pixel has limited functionality compared to the MacBook Pro you have to think of it as a single singular purpose machine where it's really good at one thing and that's web browsing and if you think of it that way and if you're the person that does 99% web browsing and you really want a machine with excellent hardware and uh, extremely good web browsing capabilities uh, the pixel might be it for you but other than that guys definitely let me know what your comments are about this comparison love to hear all your thoughts and opinions make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, definitely check out our channel where we have a whole bunch of different laptop comparisons as well. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you later. Take care.